morning, YouTube. So I don't know what's going on. I overslept again this morning. Uh, it's like the second time this week. Got to get my stuff together. Got to fly to the hospital now. Um, we have some presentations to give today on diabetes. Hope you guys have an incredible day. So this is what happens when you oversleep and you do not beat traffic. Say hi to this guy. Hi. Uh, hopefully I'll get there before too long. But if you're ever stuck in traffic, this is a perfect time to memorize scripture. All right, so we just got done with the CME and that's continuing med medical education. And so today's was on peripheral arterial disease and the prevalence of it and how it's kind of surpassed even things such as colon cancer in terms of mortality. And a lot of it is because you have to think with a diabetic patient, they may not understand or feel that they have something going on there. So like the claudication or the pain when walking and then later it could turn into a very serious thing and even amputees um, that then could get infected. So. That's kind of what it was about today. Um, now I'm about to go give my presentation on diabetes. And I'm currently taking these stairs to try to get a little bit of cardio in while I'm at the clinic. All right, I love you guys. I want you to know how much I am struggling for you and for all those at Laodicea. And for everyone who has not met me personally, my purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and strengthened in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the riches of complete, are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. See to it that no one takes, uh, that no one deceives you with fine-sounding arguments. For although I am away from you in body, I am with you in spirit, and I delight to see how orderly you are, and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith just as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive by hollow and deceptive philosophies, which depend on human tradition and the basic principles of this world, instead of on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity dwells in bodily form. And you have been given Christ, who is the, the head of every power and authority. Thanks for doing this Bible stuff with me, man. It's, uh, it's fun to kind of go back and forth with you. I'm about to go get this workout in. I have chest, width, calves, and triceps. It should be fun. Just a little update on my nephew. He had hand, foot, and mouth disease. Pretty crazy. So how about you guys tell me how you'd come to the diagnosis, what the treatment would be, and the length of time that the disease occurs, and what the presentation is. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is way too packed in here for me to do a video, but I didn't want you to think I was skipping out. So I'm still getting it in, but too many people in here. I don't want to look like too much of a tool. All right, guys, so this is just to show you guys the, the importance of weighing at the same time every day. So if you look, 186. Yesterday morning I weighed 178. So when you weigh, make sure it's at the same time every day so you don't get discouraged because your weight will fluctuate throughout the day, all right? You got this. All right, so you're feeling a little down, you need a little pick-me-up. Yeah, that happens sometimes. So just remember, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave, the same power that commanded dead to wake lives in us. All right, that's how you fuel up after the gym. Yes, delicious ninja. If you do not own one, best blender I have ever used in my life. 